This may look like your ordinary classroom at the average school, but these guys aren't in school here at all. They're interning at one of the nation's top labs. These high schoolers are part of the Summer BLIPS program at the U.S. Department of Energy Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. BLIPS is uh, the Berkeley Lab internship for pre-collegiate scholars. How are you guys doing? Tom Knight is its program manager. We partner high school students in the summer after their junior year with a researcher here at Berkeley Lab to do scientific research. A lot of research is environmental, involving renewable energy, fuel efficiency, and more. And high schoolers like Francis from Puerto Rico are getting to be a part of it all. I'm learning a lot and having fun here. She's studying geothermal energy at the geysers, the largest geothermal plant in the world. My favorite parts are the field trips, the geysers and the Santa Rosa. Geothermal energy taps water from the Earth's core, where it's hot. It creates steam, which generates electricity. So why is geothermal better than any fossil fuels? Well, it's better because it's natural and it doesn't make any damage to the environment. It doesn't release CO2 or anything. It doesn't. It's like really clean and pure. In this case, there's an added twist. They're using recycled water to make that steam. We're getting the water, the wastewater that comes from home businesses and industry. The wastewater goes through a series of different treatment steps so that it's been very, very cleaned up. And then it goes through a 41 mile long pipeline up to the geysers, goes up 3,000 feet in elevation, and then it is distributed to a variety of different injection wells where it's put back into the geothermal reservoir. Geological scientist Pat Dobson is mentoring Francis as she puts together an educational outreach presentation. We're trying to increase the awareness and knowledge of geothermal energy to the general public. What Francis is doing is putting together a web page that will provide information to the general public and go and find out more about this process. So to solve climate change, we're basically turning back to mother nature, what with like solar using the sun, wind using wind, right. <laughs> and now geothermal using the, the, the heat earth. of the earth. And yeah. so, I mean, if we're looking at energy solutions, it's gotta be more than just one answer. The, the needs for power are so great. That brings us to this lab, where students are studying another way to replace carbon emitting fossil fuels, and that's with plants. They're the source of life practically because they provide the oxygen we need and they clean the air that we breathe. Camila and Maxine are creating a movie about photosynthesis and ways scientists are trying to produce it artificially in order to create fuel. Scientists nowadays are trying to find a more efficient and cheaper way to make fuel storable and to reach uh, the world's demand. The problem is that natural photosynthesis doesn't reach that demand. They're using this electron microscope to scope out plant cells. They're looking at the structure of chloroplasts, where photosynthesis occurs. Artificial photosynthesis mimics natural photosynthesis. And instead of producing the sugars and ATP that is produced by natural photosynthesis, artificial photosynthesis produces a fuel that's storable, transportable. All of their work goes into their video. It's a project that requires T for teamwork. Well, it's pretty cool to have somebody to like, you know, like a check other. and balance for each other. <laughs> yeah, that way it's very fun. Whether it's using energy from beneath the ground or figuring out how to copy nature above it. Nature is like the basics of why we're here. These teens say they're glad to be a part of finding solutions to environmental problems. I think we've grown as students and as scientists, and it's made us more conscious of the problem of how and how people around the globe are working on it. And for these budding scientists, this is just the beginning.